so what's going on guys it is jm it is speedbox here make sure you guys subscribe to the channel before you click onto any of my videos also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what i'm saying in any of my videos it really is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel so yesterday we had the press conference between josh taylor and o'hara davis for their upcoming fight on july 8th at the bray head arena in glasgow scotland for the Commonwealth and WBC Silver Light World Weight titles, you got Taylor and Davis who are top prospects in the 140 pound division in the UK. You got O'Hara Davis 15 and over 12 knockouts, coming off two good performances against European level fighter Andre Scarpa, in which he won the WBC Silver title, won basically every round in that fight, and then he fought Derry Matthews in his last fight. If you watch UK boxing, we know who Derry Matthews is. He's been in with a lot of great fighters over the years Derry Matthews and he just massacred Derry Matthews in three rounds just totally destroyed him O'Hara Davis so he's coming in with a lot of momentum in this fight and you've got Josh Taylor former Commonwealth gold medalist a very top amateur nine wins eight knockouts picked up the Commonwealth title in his sixth pro fight against um, Dave Ryan who is a domestic veteran and Today at the press conference it was very interesting because O'Hara Davis usually at press conferences he starts hyping, he starts having a war of words with his opponents, getting into it, calling them bums and stuff like that and he does it on social media as well, O'Hara Davis, he's very good at selling a fight but today he came over and he sat on the table with his sunglasses just sipping water saying that he respected Josh Taylor and he thinks he's a good fighter and this rattled Josh Taylor in my opinion. It didn't rattle him like loads, but I think it really got under his skin. It annoyed him because he was expecting a totally different O'Hara Davis. He prepared for an O'Hara Davis to come to start kicking off with him, start getting into it. But O'Hara Davis just didn't bite to anything Josh Taylor said. Like Josh Taylor was trying to instigate stuff, calling O'Hara Davis a pusser, saying that he's not a good boxer, he's too slow, he's going to get knocked out. And O'Hara Davis just nodded and smiled at him. And I think... This has all been planned by O'Hara Davis. I think because this fight is on Sky Sports, he's thinking, you know what, I'm getting paid anyway. I don't need to sell this fight for these people. Like I'm going back on Sky anyway after this fight. And he's getting paid no matter what. There could be 10 people at this fight. O'Hara Davis is still getting his check at the end of the night, win, lose, or draw. So that's why I think he just didn't sell the fight today. He didn't do anything. He just sat there and just smiled and nodded at Josh Taylor. And a lot of people are saying on comment sections on YouTube and on social media saying oh, O'Hara Davis shit himself and he's scared of Josh Taylor. <laughs> no, I don't think O'Hara Davis is scared of Josh Taylor at all. O'Hara Davis is a very confident guy and he's a guy who says things that are on his mind. And we saw it when he confronted Floyd Mayweather. Like, this guy confronted Floyd Mayweather, one of the biggest stars in boxing, because... Floyd Mayweather said something he didn't like when he went to a special event Floyd Mayweather was at and he confronted him afterwards. Even though Floyd Mayweather didn't know who the hell he was, O'Hara Davis still went up to him and confronted him. So O'Hara Davis isn't scared of Josh Taylor at all. I think he's just trying to get in the head of Josh Taylor, play mind games and at the same time not sell the fight because this fight is on Channel 5, it's not on Sky Sports. Obviously this is ran by Cyclone Promotions, the promoters who promote Josh Taylor. And yeah, O'Hara Davis just playing the mind games with Josh Taylor. And as the fight itself, you've got Josh Taylor, he hits quite hard. He's very fast as well, Josh Taylor, and he's a southpaw. So he could be a very awkward fighter for O'Hara Davis. But O'Hara Davis has very natural ability. He might not be the most experienced fighter in terms of amateur pedigree and pro fights. But he has a lot of natural ability, O'Hara Davis. Like the things he can do in the ring with so much little experience is very, very impressive. He's got very long arms and stuff like that that are a massive advantage to him in fights. And he hits very hard as well, O'Hara Davis. So both guys have never really been in with the styles that they'll be facing against each other on July the 8th. So this could be a very interesting fight. I'm slightly going towards O'Hara Davis because I think... He has the more natural ability with what he's doing and I think he'll be able to cause Josh Taylor problems in there. I don't know a lot of people are going to say, yeah, but Josh Taylor has a lot of amateur experience. and Yeah, but it doesn't matter sometimes because I've seen a lot better amateurs than Josh Taylor 
lose to guys in the pro games who are not as good as O'Hara Davis. That sometimes styles just make fights. People just need to realise that sometimes. But pff, Josh Taylor today, he tried to take the sunglasses off um, O'Hara Davis and he just looked like he wanted to punch his fucking heat off. <laughs> he just looked like he was pissed off, giving it the old Scottish talk at O'Hara Davis. But O'Hara Davis was just not biting into it. So, yeah, in my opinion, I think O'Hara Davis got the better of Josh Taylor today at the press conference. But the fight is very interesting. It's a very tough fight for both men. And I'm just slightly going towards O'Hara Davis at the moment. But that could change as the fight gets closer. We'll just have to see. So, yeah, it's JM. It's Speedbox.